We've got some real experts to my left, and uh, we'll be delighted to hopefully find you a few winners for the Cheltenham Festival. So this is the Unibet City AM Cheltenham Festival preview. We'll start with day one, and we'll start with the Stan James Champion Hurdle. Shh. This is one of the showpiece events of the Cheltenham Festival, bar the Gold Cup. It's the race that everyone wants to win. And if you've been to the festival before, you'll have no doubt seen Hurricane Fly winning this on two occasions. The race very much centers around him. He's looking to become a member of an exclusive club to have won three times at the Cheltenham Festival. The question for Mick is, are you with or without Hurricane Fly? I am with him, with him. All the way. I think it, Ruby Walsh and, and Willie Mullins, they've had some very good horses. And they've always said, in the UK, you have never seen what Hurricane Fly can do. And they're hoping that it's this year that you get to see it. He's beaten all these horses, the likes of our Connor, Jeski. He's beat them all before. He's a 19 times grade one winner. It takes a very special horse to do that. I think he'll win. I think you're looking at something to finish placed for a bit of value. Our Connor was one of the most impressive winners of the whole festival last year in the Triumph Hurdle. He trained Hardy Eustis to win two of them. This horse has been trained with the champion hurdle in mind. Five-year-olds have got a bad record, but I think he's, a five, he's five or six to one. He's a very good each-way price, and I think he will be in the money. Okay. So our Connor for me, could be the value bet. Hurricane Fly, he's a 10-year-old now, Mick. Is he getting on a bit? Has he still got it? Many a good tune played on an old fiddle, Gina. Come on. <laughs> Hurricane Fly hasn't run that many times. He's been saved. Everything about his season is geared towards the champion hurdle. Okay, he's with Hurricane Fly. He's also having a saver on our Connor. Bill, with or against? Um, with. No, sa no saver for me. Hurricane Fly, one of the best bets on the, on the first day. Two champion hurdles already. Um, small field, tactical affair, bread and butter in Ireland. I think he'll win. On the nose. On the nose Don't mess for around. Hurricane Fly. Win Hurricane Fly. 11 or 4. It's all about Hurricane Fly for Bill. Tom, are you with the old boy or are you going for one of the young pretenders? Well, listen, there's a horse in there who Mick might give you an insight, but the Nicky Henderson horse, my tent or yours, this time last year, he was the raging hot favourite for the Supreme Novices hurdle. He was everyone's day one banker. People were saying, this is it. Cheltenham's going to be made when my tent or yours wins the Supreme Novice. Lo and behold, he jumped the last and the petrol light was flickering on empty as he went up the hill. He's a flat track speed horse. Uh, watch him in the Christmas Hurdle, winner. Watch him at Aintree, winner. Uh, is he a very serious horse? Yes. Is Cheltenham his track? Emphatically, no. So if, you, if you're thinking to yourself, my tent or yours, champion hurdle, I would suggest you want to get the 20 and 50 pound notes and put them straight in the shredder because you've not a prayer of backing the winner. What is going to win? Look through these. Uh, plenty of good judges. They fancy our Connor. Uh, however, he had his chance the last day in Leopardstown in a race run to suit him. Uh, this time out, it's Hurricane Fly who... Maybe he's never shown his best at Cheltenham. Even so, he could become the, ne the next horse since Isterbrack to win this great race three times. And you stop and think to yourself, he really is incredible. As Mick said, 19 grade ones. He's up against the new one. But if they all come over the line in a, over the last in a, in a line, those four horses, and it turns into a sprint finish, there's only one winner. So uh, long answer to a simple question, Gina. Yeah, Hurricane all the way, three votes. Everyone's with the Hurricane. We've got a question from the audience. Will the going affect Hurricane Fly? Uh, given the variation, the forecast as it stands for the next few days, uh, we could easily go off on day one racing on good to soft. Uh, no heavy, not a lot of soft around there. Even so, Hurricane Fly is tactically versatile and he's also ground versatile. A point that Barney Curley's been very quick to make in some of the previews, and you have to stand up and take notice, is that there is certain form lines that could easily be turned on their head uh, over the four days next week. Horses that have been warming up on predominantly heavy ground, all of a sudden, this is going to be a different game. The thing you have to remember with Hurricane Fly is he's been there on a much quicker surface and done it before. So in isolation, Hurricane Fly, quicker ground, not an issue. So that's our review of the Stan James Champion Hurdle.